So I'm going to show you how a vac pot that belonged to my great grandmother from the 1930s works to make amazing coffee. The parts include, of course, your coffee pot, what they call the filter. So it's got these little ridged areas here that this filter goes inside the upper part here and the coffee goes in here and that little filter actually prevents the coffee grounds from going down into the pot. So I have the original Bakelite stand which is not uh, very common I'm assuming and then this firmly you just push it on the top there like that and then I'm going to fill it with the coffee. So here we go, it's filled up with the coffee. So coffee's just loaded loosely into this area here. I'm going to turn the burner on. You can see my almost as pathetic old stove. And the heat element is just going to heat directly to this water, which is then going to push the water up into the upper bulb, which will then brew for about four minutes. I like to use four minutes because it's about the same amount that you use for a French press. And then we'll watch how the coffee brews. So as you can see with the water heating up, the tube in the center there, it creates a pressure in the lower half and you can see it's pushing the water up slowly. And as the water moves up, it's going to move up into this upper bowl here. And it only takes about a minute to do that. Now you can see the water is starting to come up into the upper bowl, pushing up through the base. And it's moving up more. So the coffee grounds are kind of looking like mud at this point. And basically what's happening again is there's pressure being built up in the bottom half. It's pushing the water up through that tube on the inside, up past the filter into the upper half of the vacuum pot. And as it gets close to the bottom, so there's always going to be just a little bit of water at the bottom, just so you don't scorch the glass and break the glass. And there we go. And then kind of the brewing process starts. And this is where I start the timer at about four minutes. Now as it's brewing, there is one thing that you need to know about using these pots is that you want to make sure that your heat is not up too high because if it does, and I've learned the hard way, it can start to really start bubbling and then it starts spraying over the sides and going crazy. And you'll get a good sense of that because if it starts to bubble a little too hard, then you want to turn down the heat. Now some people mistake this for boiling. It is not boiling. Boiling coffee is never a good thing. It brings out bitterness. All it is is the water down below is boiling and um, it pushes that heated water up to the top. So it is not boiling water that is actually up here. It's very hot water up here, but it's not boiling. So now the four minutes is up, I'm going to turn off the heat, and as you turn off the heat, what's going to then happen, I'll show you close up here, is that then the pressure will switch, so then it'll be develop a vacuum in the lower half, and then the coffee will then pass through from above here through the filter, which is not technically... Well, it's, it's not a paper filter, so there's nothing disposable about this process either. And you will see that the coffee then gets sucked down through the tube from the vacuum created by the pot. There it goes. And this is the part that usually kids love to watch. You know, as it's sucking down the, the coffee. So it looks like it's being sucked up, but it's actually, you can watch the top part drop down as the bottom fills up from the vacuum.
in this process. I'm not speeding it up. So this is the actual process. And I made four cups. And you'll know when it's completely sucked down. And the grounds kind of dry up in a way. But once the bubbling process ends in the bottom, you know that it the, the whole vacuum process has been completed. So you simply remove the top from the bottom half. I've got my convenient little stand there to hold the, um, the glass top and my beautiful coffee which I'm now going to enjoy.